What's up everyone? It is Shay and I have another video for you guys and in this video I'm gonna be, well, it's gonna be a review. So let's get started. So I know this is a long time coming because I said weeks ago that I was going to do a review on the manga and anime for the series Orange and well, here it is. <laughs> Now before I get into this review, I do want to let you know that this review is going to have spoilers involved in it. So if you're someone that plans on watching this series, um, or you're someone that doesn't want there to be any spoilers, then I will suggest for you to turn off this video um, because I do plan to spoil some parts of the show. And also, um, the series as a whole does deal with the issue of suicide so if you are someone that is easily triggered by suicide then or triggered by the term suicide even though i'm not going to talk about much talk about a little bit regarding that topic but if you're someone who is easily triggered by that then i would suggest also not watching this review and not watching this video but let's get into it so the main premise of this show is about a group of friends um, who receive a letter from themselves 10 years into the future. So basically they are 16 years old, they are in high school and they receive letters from their 26 year old selves. Naho is the one who originally starts out with the letter and then along throughout the series, you start to realize that she is not the only one of her group of friends to also receive this letter. There's five of them in total who receive this, who receive a letter from their future selves. But pretty much the letter is wanting them to save another one of their friends from committing suicide and it also wants two particular members of the group Naho Takamiya and Keikuru Naruse to date each other because they obviously have feelings for each other although due to Keikuru's untimely death he they were not able to confess their feelings for each other. Now at the beginning though most of the characters don't actually believe um believe the letters and they don't actually follow the letters but uh mostly this is due to them thinking that's a joke but once they see certain parts of the letters start to come true they then start to realize that this is something a little bit more serious that they actually need to you know need to actually consider so along the way every single one of the trend one of these friends try to correct the mistakes that their future selves made by following the letters that were written so that Keikuru does not end up committing suicide but throughout the series you start to see things see that things that were written in the letter end up not happening mostly due to taking a different path or as you might want to think the correct path so that they can save Keikuru um you start to see like basically it's like an alternate reality start to take place from the reality that their future selves uh, their future selves actually end up experiencing so pretty much in the letters they will tell them okay this is october 5th this is what's going to happen i want you to do this instead and this is so that they can correct like i mentioned before the mistakes that they had in the past or the mistakes that they actually did and the things that they wish they could have done so if they were like hey i noticed that kakeru was hurt but I didn't say anything or he told me not to say anything, say something so that this can help prevent this from happening. And they start to follow the letters and but the issue arises when something happens that is not in the letter due to them changing things and they kind of have to figure things out on their own. And there is a part within the show that they actually, one of the characters, Naho, basically decides not to follow the letters anymore since she notices that things are so different. But then she ends up taking a peek at the letter because certain things start to happen and she needs to kind of figure out what she's really supposed to do. So throughout the series, though, it does switch between 16-year-old Naho and her friends and 10 years into future when Naho and her friends are 26. And in this alternate universe, of course, Keikuru is no longer alive. Now, this makes for an interesting concept because you see the hurt of Naho and her friends missing Keikuru and you also don't see anything changing in their current reality whereas 16 year old naho is seeing things changing in her timeline so basically the 26 year old naho and her friends are not seeing anything changing so it's not really making a change to their future it's making an alternate path um, that is very different from their current reality so I did not find this confusing because you can definitely tell the stark differences between the characters in the show. One character has shorter hair, um, two of the characters are now together, and two different characters are now together in the in the series. Um, 
and so you understand the differences um, so it doesn't make it confusing at all but it did make you understand just how much cake grew meant to, meant to all of the individuals involved um, and it also made you realize how you definitely should cherish um, all the people that you have in your life and also to live your life to the fullest because they all wrote letters of things that they wish they could have told him at the time or for example they would say hey maybe we can celebrate your birthday next year but in reality they never got that chance so basically they wanted to correct those things so that was an interesting concept but with that concept in the show regarding alternate timelines and black holes and different realities it made me think of the show Steins Gate that came out a couple of years ago, pot as I was my phone, a couple of years ago. And basically this show dealt with time travel and it dealt with different realities and alternate universes. And that was a huge part of that show. Although they did things differently, they did things through via text messages um, using like this souped up microwave. Whereas in Orange, they did things via a letter. Um, the biggest difference though is of course that also Steinsgate dealt with a lot of science and was a lot darker of a show compared to orange orange dealt with love and it dealt with sadness and it dealt with a lot of hurt but if you like the idea of this alternate reality and you want more of this and i definitely suggest checking out the anime steins gate it is a wonderful dub as well so if you can watch it dubbed it is also dubbed by funimation so you'll also find it on funimation's website and i'm sure you can watch the dub there now I also read the manga and honestly there weren't any differences and I know a lot of people were trying to, I know a lot of people probably want to know if there was a difference between the two. I didn't see much of a difference between either one. Nothing really seemed to be left out but the only thing that I feel like was strange was the last two episodes and it's mostly because the second to last one um, where it shows Keikaru's shows Keikaru's reality if none of the changes were actually made. So it shows his actual thought process between the time that he met Naho and her friends and the time that he actually decides to commit suicide. And this is more so future Naho's timeline. And I felt like that episode though went by super quick. I didn't, I felt like it was so short and it was literally only half of the ap actual episode. I thought it would take a lot longer. Although now thinking about it, I understand why because I felt like if they would have drug it out, many people already kind of understood what happened a little bit by this point, but maybe it was just me because I read the manga so I know what's gonna happen. But I feel like there are certain parts of that series that was not understood so I'm sorry I apologize sorry about that I had one of my friends was texting me so I apologize for that <laughs> so good um, but basically no one actually um, they I feel like there was just too quick for that particular episode I feel like there should have been a lot more to it to be completely honest and also not only that but the I felt like there were some episodes that didn't need two episodes for example when they're talking about the festival or they're going through the festival that was two episodes I feel like it really could have been condensed into one and that some stuff actually could have been taken out I feel like the show didn't need to be 13 episodes it should have basically just been 12 but I feel like also the 13th episode was very very long I think it was like 40 minutes for it for the last actual episode whereas the episodes in between were like in between 20 to 22 minutes about um one of the biggest things though that i wish that they would have actually talked about in the series in the show was how naho and her friends actually sent the letters into the past they never actually discussed it or actually talked about it they just talked about the idea of it and someone just basically said it's not possible but of course it did happen but they never actually said how they did it and i wish that that would have been explained also, at the end, you never actually see Naho and Keikuru get together. I wish they would have showed it. They didn't, but I'm not sure why. I think it's more so hinted that they got together because everyone knew it was going to happen. You see it, several cute moments happening between them in the series, but they were kind of lagging on them actually getting together, which is understood because Keikuru was still dealing with that process of whether or not he was going to actually do it and all the hurt that he was feeling. Um feeling regarding why he wants to do it which is basically regarding revolving around his mother because his mother committed suicide and he felt very guilty because he felt like he could have prevented it in some sort of way so he felt very guilty about that but the fact that he felt like he wasn't going to be there is why he didn't want to get into a relationship with Naho even though he was hopelessly in love with her but at the end you still don't see them actually together but I'm guessing it's hinted at 
Um, but overall, I thought this series was wonderful and I love the chemistry between all the characters. There's lots of funny moments between all of them. Um, there's a lot of cute moments between all of them. So the show isn't all hurt and sadness and trying to help out this character throughout the entire series. It's, it has some funny moments too between the characters overall. And I also think it was a great way to deal with such a tough topic regarding a round suicide. And it was a great way to basically show people about this topic and how you can help someone if you feel like they're going through something like that. And just to be there for them and to be a friend for them and not to like throw them to the side or brush it off as them just joking around. And I think that was a, to me, that was a great way to to go into such a tough topic because it's never easy talking about something as tough as a topic as this. Um, so definitely check out this show if you haven't already and let me know what you thought of it. If you have actually watched it, I believe it aired during the fall anime season of 2016, I believe, or maybe it was spring. I can't remember. I think it was the spring season, I believe. It's, it's been a while, I can't remember actually, but definitely check it out if you haven't already and also feel free to suggest other shows that you would like me to watch. I plan to watch a new series soon. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this review. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll leave a link down below, all of the links to my social media accounts. I also have a new video out for you guys actually on Monday. On Mondays I'm going to start doing Motivation Mondays and start talking about a variety of different topics. And then I'll have another review out for you guys soon. All right, you guys have a great day whenever you guys are watching this and I apologize again for my phone.